in ancient indian armies chariots played an important role and when we talk about the classical four fold division of ancient indian armies which is called chaturang bal we find that of the four fold division one was the chariots and when we look at the literary reference we see that from the vedic period onwards there are great number of reference concerning chariots so from all this it becomes quite clear that chariots played an important role in ancient indian warfare now the question comes how were chariots used in ancient warfare now the answer to this question is not pretty straight forward because what we see is that whether we talk about ancient india or other ancient societies scholars are not sure about how chariots were used in ancient warfare and there are multiple theories so what we will do is that we will first talk about these multiple theories that exist on chariot warfare so the first and the oldest theory is the theory that is derived from homer's iliad we all know that homer's iliad is one of the classical text of greek ancient greek literature now in homer's iliad chariots were used to transport warriors to the battlefield and after reaching the battlefield these warriors used to dismount and they fought on foot so this was the primary role of chariots in homer's iliad they were basically used as transport so this whole theory argues that chariots were used as a battle taxi so this is the first theory now when we talk about the second theory this theory argues that chariots were used to fight at close quarters and the primary weapon of the charioteers was the spear now this theory argues that the way these charioteers fought or the kind of use a chariots had in ancient period was similar to how the cavalry fought in the medieval period so basically in the medieval period we see that spears were used by the cavalry so in the ancient period spears was used by the charioteers who mounted on chariots and these chariots fought at close quarter now the problem with this theory particularly is that when we talk about fighting at close quarter we see that chariots presented a huge target particularly when they are fighting at close quarter and this was a great danger for the chariot another problem with this theory is that chariots were primarily used for the fact that they provided greater mobility and when uh, two chariots fought at close quarter this advantage is not there so the fact that these two significant problems are there in this theory suggest that this was most likely not the main way of how chariots fought the third theory which in my view is the most plausible one argues that chariots were used as a mobile archery platform so here this theory argues that chariots were used to mount bowmen in earlier cases there was a single bowman and in later cases we find that there were multiple bowmen and these bowmen mounted chariots so that they could shoot arrows on the enemy while keeping a safe distance between the enemy and what we also see is that because the chariot was highly mobile it provided them sufficient mobility so that they could harass the enemy so this was the primary reason why chariots were used in ancient warfare now there is also this theory that chariots were used to break enemy formation so here it is argued that chariots after the start of the battle will ram at the battle formation of the enemy so that the infantry breaks it formation and it is routed so this was a theory which some scholars have argued now the problem which this theory is that what we see is that if this tactic is followed and there are some cases in ancient warfare which where we see that this practice was followed we find that this practice does more damage to the chariots compared to the enemy so most scholars believe that this type of tactic where 
the chariots rammed into the battle formation were most likely done at a point of the battle when the enemy is about to break his formation. So in order to quicken this process, we find that at a later stage of the battle, chariots were used to ram into the enemy formation. But this did not happen always. It happened only when the enemy formation was at the point of breaking. Now if you look at the Indian case, we will see that here the theory of chariots providing a mobile archery platform is most plausible. So if you look at the reference in the Vedic literature, we find that here we are told that the primary weapon of the warrior who is mounted on a chariot is his bow. So the fact that bow was the primary weapon of the mounted warrior suggests that the main reason why chariots were used was to provide a mobile archery platform so that this warrior could shoot his arrow on the enemy. Now this way of using chariots in the Indian case can also be seen of how Porus has used his chariots in the battle against Alexander. So the classical Greek writers tell us that when Porus arrived on the battlefield, the chariots of Porus' army had six men. And these six men included two bowmen and two two shield bearers. So these shield bearers provided protection against enemy attacks, whereas the primary role of the chariots was to provide a mobile archery platform for these two bowmen. So this was the usage of chariot in the case of Porus. Another important point which we should keep in mind is that chariots became much more effective when they were used alongside the infantry and in support of the infantry. Now the question of the different reference in the Indian case about the use of chariots has already been discussed. You can watch this video for that. Thank you for watching.